Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing how I color and I digitally in Manga Studio slash Clip Studio Paint. So let's get started! So before we start, I'm going to talk a little bit about layers. Layers are like clear sheets of paper, so I have my line art layer over here and my skin layer. So I'm going to take my line art and if I put it under the skin layer, we will no longer be able to see the line art because it is under the skin layer. And if I bring my line art back above the skin layer, then we'll be able to see it again because it is on top of the skin layer. When I'm on the skin layer, I will not be able to do anything to the line art layer. Now I'm going to make a new layer by pressing the new raster layer button. And I am going to name it Iris. Now I'm going to use the magic wand tool. You can find it by pressing W on the keyboard. And I'm going to select the area within the iris and um, use color number one and fill it in with color. Now if I don't um, expand my selection, I get little itty bitty tiny pixels all around the edges. And um, I don't like how they look, so I am going to increase my selection as you can see, I get itty bitty white pixels all around the border and I want to get rid of those. So I am going to expand my selection size. Ex expand my selection size by pressing the expand selection um, button and I increase it by 2 pixels. And now the little white pixels are all gone. Now I'm going to add another layer called People, and I make sure to add these layers above the skin layer, but below the line art layer. Now I'm going to turn off the iris layer by pressing the I that's next to it, and um, because I'm going to be using the same color for the People as I did for the iris. And I'm going to use um, the Circle tool, the Eclipse tool. You can find it by pressing U on the keyboard, and uh, in the line fill area, I have create fill selected. This makes it so that it automatically fills in the circle. And I just make an oval, and I put it where I want it to be, and I slightly move it by using the move layer tool. Now I'm going to turn my iris layer back on, and now I'm going to create a clipping layer. Clipping layers will basically make it so I won't go out of the iris layer because it is clipped to the iris layer. So I click on the thumbnail and then I click clip at layer below and that will make it so I cannot draw out of the iris layer. And since the pupil layer is above the iris layer, um, we will be able to see the pupil over the iris layer. Now when I add color to the eyes, I use the airbrush tool. I use the soft airbrush. Um, a few of the settings is hardness. Hardness um, is how hard the edge will be, so if it's all the way down, the edge will be very soft. And if it's all the way up, the edge will be very hard. And brush density, if it is all the way down, um, the brush density will be very low. And if it's all the way up, the brush density um, will be very opaque. Um, I'm going to have my hardness set to 2 and my brush density set to 30. Now I'm going to use color number 2. And I'm going to use a pretty big airbrush. And just fill in the bottom of the eye. The eye is going to go from dark to light. And I just add some color to the bottom of the iris. Now I'm going to use color number 3 and basically do the same thing. I'm just not going to have the color go quite so high on the iris. Um, I kind of like to add a little bit more brightness by the pupil, so I'll kind of add some more bright color by the pupil. Now I'm going to use color 4 and do the same thing. Um, I'm just not going to add quite as much as color number 4. And just keep brightening it up.
Now with color number three, I'm going to go around the edges. I like to add um, darker colors around the edge just because I find it helps give the eye more depth and I really like how it looks. So I'm going to use color number three first. I'm just going to go around the edge of the oval and I'm also going to do this with colors um, number two and I think I also use color number one. Now I'm going to use color number 5 and in the airbrush settings in the combine mode I am going to set the combine mode to glow dodge and I do this because it makes the color very vibrant and bright and I really like how it looks so I set the brush combine mode to glow dodge. I find this just really helps make it really bright and I really like the way it looks. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to increase the hardness so the edge will be a little harder and I'm going to add little dots at the bottom. I find this is just a nice detail and I like how it looks. Now I'm on my pupil layer and I'm going to add some color to the pupil. Um, I'm going to change my brush mode back to normal and I'm going to add color number two and color number three to the pupil. I like to do this just because I think it gives a little bit more life to the eye. Um, so I use color number two and I just add a little bit of color to the center of the pupil. And I also use color number three. Now I'm going to turn off my pupil layer and my um, clipping layer. And I'm just going to select within the iris and increase my selection. And then I'm going to turn my layers back on and on the pupil layer, I'm just going to add some black to the top of the eye. I just felt like it needed a little bit more depth, so I added some black to the top of the eye. Now I'm going to create another layer and call it highlight. And I'm going to use the eclipse tool again and I'm going to create a white circle. To make a perfect circle, hold down shift on the keyboard and click and drag and it will keep it in a circle shape. And then I'm going to use color number 5 and make another smaller circle on the other side of the eye. Now I'm going to make another layer and call it white because it is for the white of the eye. And I'm going to be using that light blue color. And I'm going to have the hardness on my brush all the way up and I'm just going to go into the eye and add this light blue all over. I like to use a light blue and then I go in with a white and I just do this to add some shadows to the white part of the eye. It helps give it more depth I think. <laughs> well this video is now done. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.